Today in the wood yard, I've got a pile of blocked up cherry. I've got an Easton made ultra log splitter and I've got gas. Let's get splitting. For those of you that are here for the first time, my name is Chris. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Today's an exciting day. We're gonna split wood. So after a couple days of stacking on the maple, which is back over there on that side, I just decided I wanted to do something different today. And I thought about this morning that I would do some cutting. However, um, it's only about nine o'clock in the morning right now and it's already about 85 degrees and it's supposed to get into the mid nineties today. And there's almost no wind. Not a good day to cut because that's where you get the biggest workout I find where I get the warmest is cutting. And stacking is a close second. Splitting is pretty much the same, but I just felt like doing something different today. And I've been staring at this pile of cherry here now for a while. I've cut it on a couple weeks ago. It got, got cut up. And uh, I got about half the pile cut and it's kind of in my way sitting on the grass here. So my plan is, is that I moved the splitter over here yesterday and I'm going to split and we're going to fill in that area right in there. That is the plan. So I figured I just would start working in on the pile here. Um, to get this cleared up up front here and I guess I'll never get through all that today because I don't have a whole day but I got a good chunk of a day that I can work on this and then the other splitting that I want to get going on that needs to get done as soon as possible um, because it takes so long to dry is this oak this is that whole tree that I cut up um, that I got all the uh, the red red oak uh, there's a lot of it there and that needs to be split and then I got the other load from the same property and some of it was from the same tree and that's back over here it is right here this all needs to be split because I got to be able to get through here and this all has to be stacked but I got Brady that'll be starting to come now and do some work um, kind of like every other day basis and uh, so I got to get work prepped for him um, to do so the more stuff I get split the more he'll have to stack because I don't really want him splitting by himself running machinery I mean he helps when I do splitting he helps load he feeds me basically feeds me the rounds so that I can split them which helps a lot it's nice to have two guys on a splitter uh, three would be even better <laughs> could really go fast then so that's what's going to happen today I'm going to get to doing some splitting so here we go
I'm gonna tell on ya. It's hot. I think I chose poorly. Man, I've only been splitting for maybe 20, 25 minutes. I got a little bit done just to start. It is hot out here. There's almost no wind. Sun is blaring on me. I think what I need to do is I'm gonna make a run to my house and I have a pop-up shelter, one of those 10 by 10 pop-ups. I'm going to get it. I'm gonna set it up so I'm out of the sun. Cause since I cut all the trees down here to dry the wood better, there's no shade. And it is hot today, it is scorching. So I'm gonna take a little run and I'm gonna go and get my shelter and sit in air conditioning in my vehicle for about 10 minutes and cool off. Oh. So here it is, the uh, pop-up shelter, which will be nice. I did all that running to go get it, and now it's getting cloudy out, so maybe it's going to be just a waste of time, but. I know this thing works because we've used it before when we have get-togethers and it's nice to be in the shade. So we're gonna open her up and uh, get shaded. This is better already. I just gotta make room. It's kind of a tight fit here where I've got it set up, but I think it'll work. There we go. There we go, now we're locked in. Oh, baby. This is a thing of beauty, I must say. Here, I'll bring you inside. Okay, here we are in our shade. Not too shabby. This is gonna work out well. I can see that um, I'm not always gonna be able to set it up right where I want because you've gotta be able to get the legs to open up and if you're in a pile where there's a lot of logs i had to move a whole bunch of these over here so that i could open this leg up right here and i'm kind of a tight here so i'll be able to bring it out um, but i'm in the shade and what's nice is that is east that is west and so i'm gonna have shade pretty much in this spot the rest of the day now until yeah yeah because once the tree once the sun hits the tree line the horizon there i'll still be in the shade so i'll just kind of migrate the splitter and the covering the tent shade whatever you want to call this thing um, but it's a lot cooler in here a lot so it's still hot out it's still 90 degrees but this will be more bearable so here we go it's time to get splitting again
It is now about two hours later. I split a bunch and it was getting pretty roasty here and I thought I would just go take a little break inside because we have air conditioning obviously because it's about 91 right now and I went inside for about two hours, sat at the computer and did some work and realized it was nice in there. So I stayed, stayed in for about two hours. Uh, I got my work done that I needed to get done on the computer in there. So now I came out and what I did is I just lowered down one side of the, the tent thingy here. So you can see it's at an angle because the sun is now starting to set, starting to go down. And so I lost a lot of my shade. My shade line is way up to here now. So I dropped that whole side over there because they just, they have a, uh, these little buttons you push in and you can just drop the whole side all the way down so i did that and now i've got more shade so i'm gonna split for i don't know probably another hour two hours something like that now that it's it's gonna start cooling off it's getting towards the end of the day now it's like 5 30 or something like that so i'm going to crank it up and we're going to do some more splitting right now here we go again The splitting is complete for today. The tent, shelter, pop-up thingy worked great. Much cooler under here than it is out in the sun. I, I'm gonna be using it quite a bit, I think, this summer. The only thing that I did really stupid is buried over there. I thought, well, this side looks good. I should be able to get over there, but the leg goes right down in there, so it's gonna take two people to get it out, because I think I can I have Brady come we can each get in the side, we can lift it straight up, and then we can migrate it that direction. But it was nice being in the shade. And uh, normally it wouldn't be a problem, but I've got this whole load of logs here, so I'm right up against it. You can see I'm gonna go around the other side. But I got quite a bit done. I got, uh, I don't know, more than half of the pile that I had cut there done. There's some down here that Harold cut, that's left, but here, here's where I started, and I got all the way down to there. So I got quite a bit done. This is right where I want to start stacking it. As a matter of fact, what I may do is I might clear this out and then just start stacking cords right here and just bring all the wood this way before I even split anymore. We'll see. So that is it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Tomorrow I will be back, and I will be doing more work in the wood yard. You should come along. It'll be fun. Between now and then, get outside. Get cotton. Good night to you, Irene.